Welcome to the virtual tour of the Riot Games Los Angeles campus. Home of the small indie company known for games like League of Legends, music like KDA and Pentakill, and moments like these. I'm David Freak Turley, longtime rioter, League of Legends esports caster, and pun enthusiast. I'll be your guide on today's tour. We'll take a look at the rioters' natural habitat, including a bamboo forest and champion themed meeting rooms. We'll even provide a location for you to send your balance requests by mail. Our campus spans across the great divide known as West Olympic Boulevard. On the north side are the majority of buildings, Q, W, E, R, T, and D, and to the south are F, G, and H. You may be wondering why our buildings are named after letters. Unfortunately, we used all of our creative budget on making music and TV shows, and so we didn't have anything left. Let's start where every rioter's campus journey begins, in D building. When you arrive for your first day, you'll be greeted by Annie, one of League's first champions, and her Earth sign amigo Tibbers. From here, you can wander the different regions of Runeterra, from the frigid halls of the Freljord to the comfortable couches of Demacia. But if you're like me and you want to start your day with a healthy dose of caffeine, you can head over to Bilgewater for a fully subsidized, freshly brewed coffee or tea and get stuck waiting in line behind the person who ordered two pour-overs with a 3D printed foam rendition of their French Bulldog. Want to skip the line? You can visit any of the fully stocked pantries around campus for a quick cup of coffee, snack, or an incredible selection of LaCroix? 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 We have like 15 flavors. Head back to the pantry around 3 o'clock for the daily snack, but be quick because the S-tier treats go fast. When you want to break from your screen, you can head out to the quad for some fresh air a walk around the track, or a quiet moment in one of the hidden courtyards. If you're lucky, you might see the Falconer and his hawks Melvin, Maya, and Mowgli securing the perimeter. Whenever you're feeling hungry for something more substantial than a pastry or snack, you can head over to Nam's, our fully subsidized cafeteria. The culinary staff prepare breakfast, lunch, and dinner with rotating menus. You'll have plenty to choose from, with a pizza station, salad bar, grill, hot entrees, and a test kitchen, which is definitely not run by Singe. But if you're the type of person who'd rather grind some games during lunch, you can always grab a sandwich or salad to go. We'd be lying if we said all we did at the office was drink coffee, eat food, and work. We also take plenty of breaks to have fun. Our PC Bong is modeled after the PC cafes where players in Korea, China, and all over Southeast Asia go to hang out. The computers are always on and come loaded with a huge selection of games, especially the Riot ones. Whether you want to 1v1 your manager in ARAM, hop on the battle bus, or hold the point in Hanamura, we've got you covered. Down the hall is the arcade, which is jam-packed with consoles and games, including old-school arcade cabinets. On the other side of Olympic Boulevard is F Building, which stands for Flash. That's where eSports is located. The LCS Arena hosts weekly games where players from all over the U.S. come to watch their favorite pro teams compete for the title of LCS champion. And they can do so with a fresh smoothie from our smoothie bar, which is also open throughout the day for anyone who's craving some fruit or an acai bowl. They've also got kombucha and paninis. F Building is also home to the sound stages where we shoot videos like Analyst Desk, Pull out that team comp graphic. and developer videos like LOL Please and Season Start. While that's just a fraction of what our campus has to offer, it's all the time we have for today. There are still movie theaters, exercise rooms, and much more to see. But some surprises are best experienced in person. 